At the top tonight, we are now hearing from the family of a five-year-old boy who drowned at a Southside apartment complex. It happened on Friday. Relatives say Rayu Barrientes was at a birthday party, and at one point, the little boy was found unconscious at the bottom of a pool. He was rushed to Christus Pond shoreline, but he passed away there on Sunday. Our Taylor Alanis tonight has a follow-up on this top story. Taylor. Rayu Barrientes' family says the five-year-old was scared of water and would never imagine this would happen to him. He was just a good little baby. He was a little angel. And a lot of people loved him. A lot of people loved him. Jessica Duran is talking about her five-year-old nephew, Rayu Barrientes. Police say Barrientes died on Sunday after he drowned in a pool at the Saratoga Cove Apartments on Wooldridge Road in Corpus Christi. He was at his cousin's birthday party. It was a lot of kids. They were at a pool party. Duran says his other aunt took him to the pool party. She says as things were wrapping up, people went inside an apartment. When everybody was doing what they were doing, singing happy birthday, squeezed his way out. Somehow he went out there back where the pool was. She says he was too small to open the latch, but believes he may have been with other kids. He slipped because on his hand he had marks on it. On the side of his face he had marks on it. Like like he had fallen. Police say Barrientes was underwater for quite some time when some kids found him at the bottom of the pool. Then two nine-year-olds unrelated to the party heard the commotion, got Barrientes out of the pool and did CPR before medics arrived. Police say no adults were in the pool area at the time of the drowning and the incident is under investigation. The CDC says drowning is the number one cause of unintentional deaths for children ages one to four. Unfortunately, last year in Nueces County, there was nine reported child water fatalities. And the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services says half of the child water deaths statewide were pool drownings. Barrientes was the first confirmed in Nueces County this year, but as the temperatures go up, so do visits to bodies of water. They could make sure that gates around pools are locked. You can teach your child to swim. Um, but the most important thing is constant supervision of children when they're around bodies of water. So they can prevent what happened to Barrientes from happening to another child. Barrientes' family says the Sackett Funeral Home has offered to pay for his funeral expenses, but the family is trying to raise $2,000 for his headstone. For information on how you can help and tips on water safety, you can head to our website at kitv.com. All right, Taylor, and we've learned today that the family is also warning the public about a man they say is going around to local businesses trying to sell barbecue plates, claiming that they're for the little boy's funeral. The family says they do not know who this person is, that the only authorized benefit they are having will be a barbecue plate sale this Saturday at Boozer's Rock Bar on SPID. It starts at 11 o'clock. That information also on our website.